What's up, people? Welcome to the channel. Got a really cool product that I want to share with you guys. This is a product by Carpy Ride. For all you guys that don't have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay integrated into your vehicle but would like to have those options, this is going to solve that problem. Super easy product to install. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, let's take a look at the box here. As you guys can see, right on the side here, in-vehicle multimedia solution. This is gonna be a solution to integrate Android Auto and Apple CarPlay into your vehicle if it doesn't currently have it. On the side here, as you guys can see, it has phone link, FM transmitting. This is gonna allow you to transmit the signal from this device through your FM radio so you can hear it inside your vehicle through your car speakers. It does have a 1080p touchscreen does accept an SD card, does accept a rear view camera. Rear view camera is not included, but you can buy one separately and also connect that to this screen. Does have voice controls. Another option for audio is through an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter cable. If your car currently has one of those and then it does have a USB port. As you guys can see on this side it shows that it does charge your phone. It is Bluetooth. It is a nine inch IPS touchscreen, and the main features on this is it takes calls, you can listen to music, real time navigation from your phone of course, Bluetooth feature supports Bluetooth music, hands free calling, voice control like Apple, Siri and Android voice control. The USB charging port is five volts at 2.1 amps, output, easy install, five minutes, no professional skills needed. All right guys, so I got everything out of the box on the table here. This is everything that you're gonna get. You're gonna get your nine inch IPS touchscreen, as you guys can see right in the front here. You can get your user manual. You're gonna get two different mounting brackets here. This is going to be a suction cup. The suction cup mount is adjustable, so you can pivot the end of it here, and then you can loosen up this arm and it doesn't extend out and then it does pivot. So multiple different ways to adjust the screen once you use the suction cup. And then they give you another way of mounting it. This is going to be more of a permanent solution by using this 3M two-sided sticky tape. You can mount this to your dash and then you can go ahead and mount the screen to this pivoting arm here. They also give you your power cord now this is going to plug into your 12 volt power supply in your car and then they do give you 3.5 millimeter cable and this is going to supply your audio if you choose to use this now this has three ways that you can listen to the audio you either can use this 3.5 millimeter cable the screen does have a built-in speaker on the back or like I said earlier, you can program it to transmit through your FM radio. All right guys, so let's take a closer look at this nine inch IPS touchscreen. So you guys can see right on the bottom there, it does have the Carpy Ride logo. On the top here, it has a power button. And this does serve for other functions too, like volume control and stuff like that for the built in speaker. On the back here, this is where you're going to find the built-in speaker, and this is where you're going to mount your mounting brackets. All right, guys, so on the side here, you're going to see all your inputs. Right here is going to be your power input. You got your USB. You got your AV out, which is where you're going to plug in your 3.5 millimeter cable if you choose to use that for audio. You got your camera in. So if you choose to get an aftermarket camera, reverse camera for this to use, that's where you would plug it. This is where you're gonna plug in your SD card. And then here, you can use this to plug in an external microphone. And this device also does have an internal mic. All right guys, I'll show you real quick. These mounting arms are real easy to hook up. You're just gonna go ahead and slide it into the grooves on the back here, like so. And then you're gonna push up. So you slide them in there and then you just push them up to lock it. And then it's locked in place. 
And then like I said, you can use this to mount to your windshield or your dashboard. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a little tabletop display of this right now. And then after that, I'll go ahead and install it in the car. All right guys, so I got my tabletop battery supply here with the 12 volt power output there. Then I'm going to just plug it into the back of the screen and we should see it power on. There you go, see Carpy Ride right on the screen there. And then it's gonna take you to the home screen. All right guys, so there's a look at the home screen there. As you guys can see, you got your iPlay, you got your Android Auto, you got your Apple AirPlay, Auto Link, Display Off, Bluetooth, USB, SD card, FM transmitter, that's when you want to transmit the audio from this device through your FM radio in your car, so it plays through your speakers. And they got a settings button there. Up top, home button, your volume. Click on that, and then you can adjust your volume. You guys can see. Real responsive. And you also can mute it by touching the speaker. And then when I was playing with this, I noticed that if you hit the power button that's on the top here, that also mutes or unmutes the volume. So that's kind of like a shortcut to muting the volume on this. You're gonna have your time displayed at the top here once everything, your phone and everything's hooked up. You got your Bluetooth, you got your screen brightness there. This from what I gather is kind of like a back screen like your home page kind of changes up the background on the screen itself and then you got a little help icon there so we'll go ahead and go into settings here take a look at settings language device speakers so when you're playing this and you're using the internal speaker on this device you're going to turn device speaker on when you want to use your car speakers when you got it hooked up that way you're going to want to turn the device speaker off. Also has restore factory settings here, system version. Then it's got Android wired link. They got iPhone wired links. So the devices that you're going to use for that. You got your Wi-Fi here. This is going to be the Wi-Fi name of this device. So when you connect your phone, you're going to want to connect through that Wi-Fi right there. And then here they got some car options here. They got video warning. You can turn that on or off. Park line. I'm assuming this is when you are using a reverse camera. Park line settings. And then rear camera mirror. So you can change that. Turn it on or off. Back button up here. And then you're back home. All right, guys. So I'll show you how easy it is to connect your phone to this device. So obviously... You got your Bluetooth, which you're just going to hook that up through your Bluetooth if you just want to listen to some music off your phone. But main reason everybody's going to get this is because they're going to want to use the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay on this. Or you can also mirror your phone. So that's kind of cool. I'll show you that in a second here. But to be able to connect this to Android Auto, I have an Android device. First, Initially, you're going to want to go into your settings here, and then when you go to this Wi-Fi icon, you're going to see built in there is the Wi-Fi name of the device, and then it does have a password. It's all sixes for the password, so it's easy to remember. So if your phone does prompt you to connect to that device and then a password, that's where you're gonna get your information from to be able to connect these initially. Once you do that, then it's gonna remember it and you won't have to do it again. So go ahead and go to home here. I'm gonna go into my phone here. I'm gonna swipe down and I'm gonna connect my phone to this device through Bluetooth. So as you guys can see there, it's connected through Wi-Fi for Android Auto. And then if you go into my Bluetooth, it's also connected there for Bluetooth. So once it's connected, you go ahead, hit Android Auto. As you can see there, it's gonna go right to my home screen on my Android Auto device, and I can turn my phone off, put it off to the side because 
all my information that's on my phone is going to be now transferred to this Carpuride 9 inch screen. So as you guys can see, I got my maps, I got Spotify, Pandora, I can access my phone, my messages, iHeartRadio, my calendar, a few other items that I have here. You got weather. I got the microphone down here, so if I want to ask Google a question, I can do that. Down here you can see I already have my Spotify lined up. And you can change all these built-in apps here, customize them however you want. You guys can see up in the corner here, it's got my phone data, it's got how hot it is outside, my signal, and then my battery life on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and ask Google a question here. Tell me a joke. Why is stadium so cool? Because they're full of fans. So as you guys can see there, really, really responsive. Real quick, I got Spotify I can go into here. I got a podcast that I was listening to earlier. Oh, uh, I thought we'd, we'd bring him in here and make him part of the studio. So since how we're talking nice. about coyotes tonight. Unless you yeah. want to talk about something else. <laughs> so there you go. Touchscreen is really responsive. I like it a lot. You can back out of this, go through anything that you want on your, your Spotify here. You can scroll. So this is pretty cool because instead of having to update your current vehicle with a newer radio or head unit, super easy to install, connects to your phone, and it's going to give you that Android Auto or Apple CarPlay in your vehicle. Now as this is hooked up to your phone, you'll be able to send and receive messages, text messages, notifications. Now another way you can use your phone if you want, don't want to do it wirelessly is you can hook up a USB cable to the side here of the screen. So real easy to hook up there. There's only one USB output and then you can connect this to your phone and when you connect this to your phone me having an Android, it's going to go ahead and pull up Android Auto when I plug this in. So this is going to be the wired feature. Went ahead, plugged it in, and it's going to pull up Android Auto. Absolutely, absolutely added deer hunter. Nothing better than sitting in a tree stand on a fall. Need a fall. Go ahead and mute this real quick. But as you guys can see there, it pulled up Android Auto connected through the cable. So right now you're charging your phone and you still can listen to your Android Auto. If you go into settings, you're gonna go ahead and go into your phone here. And on your phone, like I said right now, I'm just focused on Android because that's what I'm using, is this setting here, Android Wired Link. So that's gonna be this wired cable, this USB cord, is set up for Android Auto. Now you can change this so that when you plug in your phone, you can either have Android Auto or Autolink. Android Auto is what you just seen. Autolink is gonna be mirroring your phone. So we'll switch it to Autolink, go back to home. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this, and then I'll go ahead and plug it back in, and now it should go ahead and mirror my device. So there it goes, connecting right to Autolink, Go ahead and turn my phone on. It's gonna ask you on your phone, do you wanna use this? You're gonna put start now. And now you can see my phone is mirrored on this device. So we'll go ahead and go into YouTube. I'll go into my videos here, my channel. So by using the mirror, So you guys can see there, now I'm scrolling on my phone, but it's mirrored onto the nine inch screen there. So right now I'm just going through my videos on my channel, but as you guys can see, real responsive as I'm scrolling through. It's scrolling on the screen there. So if you wanted to watch YouTube, or say Netflix, something like that on here, you could. Now when you do turn your phone off or put it in sleep mode, it is gonna turn off your main screen there. So you do have to leave your phone on for this feature. Just kind of 
a downfall, but that's how mirror link works. So it's just something you got to deal with. So that's two ways you can use this device with your Android device. You can either use Android Auto wired or wireless, or you can use Auto Link, which you only can do that wired, and that's going to mirror your phone. All right, guys, so that's it in the vehicle. That's what it's going to look like. As you guys can see, I don't have any Android Auto or even a screen in this vehicle. It just has a CD player. So this would be a nice upgrade for this vehicle. But if you look to the back here, I got the arm mounted to the dash. And I got this centered up. And the only cable I'm running right now is the one cable that goes to the 12 volt power supply down there at the bottom so pretty decent looking screen there all right guys so i went ahead and adjusted the screen up a little bit because right underneath is my information screen there for my car and that's it's going to tell me what station i'm on so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you set up the fm transmitter here you're going to go ahead click into the fm transmitter and it's going to give you some stations here to choose from and what this is going to do is going to sync this unit with your factory stereo so pretty much everything that you play through here through the android auto or through apple carplay is going to sync through your factory radio through the fm transmitter so right now i just turned it off you can see it turned red I'll go ahead and turn on the volume. So you guys can hear, this is my normal radio station. Go ahead and turn it down. You can see the volume. I'm turning it down by the radio here. I already have it set to 95.1, which is one of the presets on this FM transmitter. To turn it on, you just hit the power button. And once I turn this on, this is going to be synced to my factory radio. So there you go. That's my Android Auto playing right now. On a field, even you shooting long distance, typically. Do you still play the wind heavily? That's just a podcast I got playing through my Android Auto on Spotify right now. So there's the Android Auto. I'm playing off my phone that's connected through. Yeah, it was actually the carp you ride and on the beach and being and if I turn this off it's gonna go back to my regular radio so that's how that FM transmitter works it just sinks right to one of the stations on your head unit that's in your car which is real nice so I think this is a pretty good product I go ahead and put some links in the description box below where you can pick one of these up you guys got any comments or questions go ahead and put them below hopefully you found this video useful if you did go ahead and hit that like button if you guys like what i'm doing on my channel go ahead and hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you guys get notified when i post my next video tell me a joke why did the scarecrow get promoted she was outstanding in her field all right guys i'll catch you on the next one